And now we get to part five of the link list, including more than 130 links of interest. And if you study these 100, and, uh, <laughs> not these 105, but part five, you're going to find that many more people have contributed than you realize. And studying some of this, of course, you could by, could by now get lost and think this is just way too much. The problem gets to be deciding what you need to pay attention to, what you need to study next. And hopefully some of these links will bring you down that line of thinking. Your logic will bring you to the point of saying, this is efficient for me to study these three things and ignore the other 33 or 13 because my project doesn't need to be that complicated or it needs to take this direction first. Watching what other people do, downloading sample stacks and taking them apart is a good way to learn. It can be time consuming if you're taking several stacks, taking them apart, and then figuring out that you really shouldn't have started on those first. There are others that would have been more valuable. And of course hindsight is it's usually very effective when you're studying. Hopefully what you'll get from these links is a good perspective and you'll be able to accomplish quite a bit. And so enjoy. And I'll paste it in here. This is the web page that's on our handy dandy site. And as you go down through the page, you will see not only the list of people, but you'll, all, you'll see all the links that I've been using today, plus a bunch more that I skipped. The idea is that we were trying to pull a community together. There's a lot of old stuff out there that helps us, and a lot of people we should probably just contact to see if we can get them more involved. Maybe they'll put up another web page. Maybe we could have a little um, group or do some... Um, video up, upload to, to YouTube or something that gets us a little more attention. Uh, the video is pretty thin out there. And of course, we're doing our Saturdays with video. Um, be interesting if we could get a little more. So anyway, I'm going to conclude this for today. It's more like a, a combination of the history, but who's important, who's relevant. The energy really is in, and I'm just going to go back up at the top and make it my final little slide here. The people that give the talks just last week are the ones that are invited and saying we have important stuff to say. They put a lot of work into it. And um, except for two of them that we know of right now, they're, they're valuable people. They're important. And uh, the others will remain nameless. So the energy, and I just have to tell you that the energy at the RunRev Live conference in San Jose was very strong. And when I asked people what the live code meant to them, they all gave kind of like technical answers or kind of in general what it meant to them, all good responses. But what it means to me is that 50% of the reason people want to get involved in live code and stick with it is because of the community. The community is live. And that's the 50% that brings people much further along because they get inspired to stick with it and then they get inspired to do more. So I hope that uh, people benefited by all these links out there. There aren't that many really good links beyond what I've shown you, which is a shame. We should have a lot more good stuff out there on either websites, FTP sites, again, the video, Facebook, Twitter. Um, so hopefully this has inspired a few people to sort of get organized a little bit. And please, Send me the links you want to have added to this page because I'll be editing this to update it and hopefully we'll have more good stuff. We'll put it in better categories. So with that, I'll conclude for today. And uh, hopefully if there are any questions, they'll be brief because I know I've gone on for a while. And I will keep the microphone on when I answer the questions. How about that? We'll make a deal. Thank you very much. Okay, I've got in a comment here about check out my and Mark's blogs. We have other links there, which is true. I didn't want to show every single page. That's good. So I'll collect, I'll harvest those links and we'll, we'll organize them. And then you mentioned that we'll set up an educational site. I think that Judy Perry may also already be doing some of that. 
and it would be good if we just sort of contribute to her effort, or maybe she knows someone. I know Devin is say at BYU, and I didn't show the BYU site, but Devin is say at BYU actually teaches um, the revolution. It's a course, and what I'm going to do here is. It's one of the links. It's some. There's, there's actually more than one link, but uh, this is a the way the BYU site looks now. And he's redoing the site. He's also building a course. Let's see. We have okay. I see Buttercup is put in a link. Good live code in education. We're getting that going there. Um, Devin is a very good presenter. He's forming his stacks so that students go through a lot of questions and take quizzes before they come into the class to do work. So they have to go through several parts of learning live code before they even come into his class. So it's this prerequisite that he's setting up and he showed me some of his uh, software last week at, at, uh, in San Jose. And it's very interesting. Hopefully that well, as he gets it more refined, he and I will talk about it and we'll continue you know, asking questions, can we make it better? So hopefully this will be something that uh, really comes out and he said he would share it with the world. It's not something just for BYU. So those are the kind of people we want to use as resources. Oh, good. We have a good one we need to add in. So I've got a lot of updating, it looks like. This is good. And what I'll, what I'll be doing is um, letting people know on the list, because we'll announce on the um, Use Revolution list, that we have this compilation of links. And we'll hopefully categorize it better and put it into maybe a couple different pages. But I think the area of education is, is so good because that includes hundreds of people who are just getting started with Live Code or wish they knew had more time and learned more. Who do they trust? Where do they go? And uh, that would be a cool thing to promote for, for our group. And then some of those educators, like, uh, well, we already had a presentation from Judy, so she's off the hook for at least another week or two. Um, but we'll get some other people, especially this summer when they have extra time, we can get um, some of the work they're doing. I really liked watching um, the presentation from Ronald Zellner. Some amazing stuff with his 10 stacks that he did using it in his education system. Well, I think Judy Perry is off the hook for at least a few more days. I, I, would, I would stand by that. What I'd like to do at some point in the future is try to pull together anything that has video clip value for us so that we have that as reference. Because quite often what I'm finding is people will watch a video where they won't read more than two paragraphs of a page explaining something. So we've got to find the right music. Obviously, we've got to do either Philharmonic or maybe some rap. We'll, we'll just have to decide later. Okay, someone's passing the buck to BYU. Um, Devin is actually going to be hiring a new guy as his assistant to help put this together. And I think I met the guy. Val. He was hanging around the RunRef um, live conference. And those two guys are pretty, pretty excited about putting this together. So it's a, it's a new venture for them in this little direction. And uh, it could be we'll get a presentation or two out of them on their philosophy and thought and how they put it together. This is directed to college students as a course. So they, you know, they gotta they gotta get a grade on this one. So it'll be interesting. Uh, Mark, you just mentioned uh, the slideshow about hypercard showing about a hundred very cool stacks. Um, that would be a good one to, to pull together on this because Sometimes those are the inspirations for, I could do that in live code in less than two hours or two days or something like that. Okay, I'm reading the chat.